Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, I'm going to try to keep this short. i got to get a stream going here in 20, 30 minutes. Uh, but like usual, I'm going to have some music going in the background. It, this is not my first choice. It's just the first thing that came up when I turned, my, uh, turned on my uh, media player. It's Hibernal Harvest, um, a weeping slumber. Okay, like I said, not my first choice. Okay, so, uh, just browsing Reddit and this came up, struggles of a small Twitch streamer. Uh, been there. It, I had I had started typing. I was gonna start typing, but it just it felt like something that like some of these other video, like some of these other Reddit posts I've seen. It's just gonna be easier to make a video talking about it rather than trying to type trying to type out what I want to say. Um. Oh, let me up. Yeah, and I already, uh, already liked it. Streamers feel like streaming is one of the hardest things they've done. Nope. Um. Nope. Uh, go get a job at Walmart, or go get a job at uh, go get a retail job. Where more often than not, often than more often than not, you got a you got a boss that's sweating you. Um. You're physically and or mentally drained at the end of the shift. You know that kind of thing. So, streaming is one of the easier things to do. You just gotta put up a shit ton of money up front, you know, for your camp, for your webcam and equipment and all sorts of all sorts of other doodads and gugas. So. Uh, I feel like I barely grow. Uh, growth. If if you're doing this just for the sole purpose of like like a side hustle or your you're actually trying to make a living and doing this good luck millions of other streamers are also trying to do the same thing it seems but uh so yes as far as uh making a living out of doing this from what i've heard from other content creators good luck you, you gotta stream because you enjoy doing it um it's gotta be so it's it's basically it's something you you want to you're willing to do for life might sound extreme, but that's the general idea. Like I said, everybody and their dog wants to wants to stream for a living. They want to, you know. But I'll, like I said, I'm trying to cut this short. Um, where I need to change. I've tried schedules, putting content on, doing unique things on my stream, streaming long hours, everything. But you, you do what you got to do. Like I said, it, streaming has to be something that you you enjoy doing. That that you'd be willing to do for free, and again, that you'd be wanting to basically do for life. Um, like I said, it, it might sound extreme, but it's if you're not willing to stream for if you're not willing to stream for a very very long time not wanting to make basically make a lifestyle out of it then it's not worth it if you're hoping to do this for a living then you know go get a job at Dairy Queen or McDonald's or something like that and I think um I've been doing this for close to eight no seven years you know how much I make from Twitch 50 bucks a year you, I make more money working at Walmart than I do as a as a streamer so Uh, really lucky. I could kind of see this. Just got to be in the right place at the right time. Um, I could, I could kind of see this too, but I think your average streamer, they're savvy enough to know that, you know, if, if somebody comes on the stream and says, hey, I'm a streamer too, he's probably already going to be suspicious. He's probably sniff, he's probably smelling kid pro quo, you know. You help me, I help you. That kind of thing. So, um, I think one time many years ago, I was streaming off Final Fantasy XIV, and I actually did get raided by, I think it was close to a thousand people. Um, it was mistaken identity. Um, this other streamer got beat by a, he got beat by another character named Joe Schmo with a name almost like mine. 
he thought it was me, so he brought everybody over to raid my stream. I didn't like that. I was actually scared shitless. Like having all having like a thousand people on my stream. Yeah, no. So But your mileage may vary on that. Oh damn, I didn't see this. Ten years. You're not a failure. If you're wrong. There was a certain phrase I was looking for. If you're a better today than you were yesterday, that that's not a failure. Um, maybe your expectations are too high. Again, it sounds like um like a lot of other streamers, they want to do this for a living. You know, they want this to that's my fan. Um they want this to pay their bills, which again, totally legit. I mean, would I like to be able to make a living streaming? Hell yeah, I would. But I think I've said this in other uh, videos and streams as well, but you know, with all the hoops you have to jump through, with all the songs and dances that you have to do to get to that point, no thanks. I'll keep my job at Walmart. So... So, best advice that I can give you, keep doing what you're doing. Um, stay the course. Um, I'm what, and I'm, for what it's worth, I'm the kind of person, I don't really watch streamers anymore. And, uh, those, those big time, big tier streamers, um, Asmongold, Ninja, uh, Shroud, you know, all those people, I can't stand their streams. I'm not, not a knock on them personally, but it, it, they're fucking eyesores. Iron Mouse was another one. Um, like the most sub two streamer of all time or something like that. I don't hate her personally. It just when you have when you have like ten thousand people crammed in one room. Yeah, I gotta get the fuck out of there. But also, for what it's worth, too, I mean, I look at my own analytics as well, but I'm also a realist, too. If there was, like, a sudden drop, like, you know, people disliking my stream vids, or if there's, like, a whole bunch of people not checking out my stream for whatever reason, if there's, like, a sudden dip or a sudden spike, yeah, I'd be a bit suspicious. So yeah, so yeah, I'm not. So as far as growth goes, um, I just want a happy medium, I guess. You know, I'm, I kind of like where I'm at right now. I usually get about five or so people on my stream, easy to manage. You know, a few guys that I could talk to. They're actual people, not view bots or anything like that. That's something else to take into consideration. Um. Some other content creators say the same thing. Subs are meaningless. A lot of subs nowadays can be bought. So, the people that come on my stream are actual people. So, and then um, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll look at some of these other ones. Uh, networking, I've heard this. I'm sure, um, I'm sure you have as well get to know other streamers, but it was kind of like what I said a few minutes ago. Um, if somebody came on my stream and if, like, the first thing out of their mouth was, hey, I'm a streamer too. I'm smelling Kid Pro Quo right there. Like, he's not coming on my stream because he wants to hang out or anything like that. He's looking for a connection or he's looking for the whole network thing. That makes me suspicious as well. So, if you are going to do this, get to know, you know, checking out other streamers. It has to be genuine. It needs to be organic, which even that, that also takes time, getting to know the person.
Whoa, this came out of nowhere. Um, I wonder if I accidentally clicked something. Yeah, he kind of said the same thing here, too. You know, stream to go, girl, stream to stream. It's, again, I said this uh, some time ago, too. It's it's practically a life a lifetime decision to stream. You got to be willing to do it basically for life. Or fail on that as long as you possibly can. Yeah. All right, I gotta, I'll just go ahead and like it, but I gotta go ahead and call it good here because like I said, I gotta get my stream going as well. So, but otherwise, uh, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.